How many bags in the back, Maya? Probably like 10. Welcome home. It has definitely been the hardest of my life. It is moving day. Today is the day and it doesn't feel real. Right now, everything is kind of laid up. We have how many bags in the back, Maya? Probably around like 10. 10 bags. Is it? Yeah. No, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, eight. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. <laughs> <laughs> the Uber driver is like, um, can I kick you out, please? But anyway, we're going now to the new apartment and I'm doing an orientation of the building and then I'm gonna start unloading everything and moving in and it feels like very real. And Maya flew down from New York last night to help me. So she's here for me for the week, which is awesome. Um, lots to do, feeling very overwhelmed right now, but also like very excited, very grateful. New chapter in Miami, baby, let's go. <laughs> Welcome home. It's very empty, it's very echoey, but it is home. She's in Miami, gal. So you walk in, private elevator. Everything right now, guys, is so chaotic. We'll do a full tour later, but I just want to show you kind of the gist. We've just done a Target run. Quick little trip to Target. You know what it's like. You go in for one thing and then you leave with like a million different things. And right now we're going to be sleeping on an air mattress tonight. <laughs> Have a real mattress coming tomorrow. And we're going to bought some hangers. Going to fill everything up. Got the bags. I have now been in the apartment for about three weeks. I have furnished a lot of it. It's definitely starting to feel more like home now. I really like it here. The energy is just so good. It's just so beautiful and bright. And I probably should go back to the start. You guys are like, why are you randomly in Miami? Well, the truth is that Alex and I have broken up and there's no tea, there's no drama that I will be sharing because there is none. We're still on good terms. Just sometimes, as you guys know, relationships just don't work out and it's okay and um, there's nothing but love and respect between us and you know, had incredible, incredible four years and made so many beautiful memories and the truth is that it was probably the hardest decision I've ever made in my life and I think that if I was going to stay in New York, it would be really hard for me. So. The only place really in the US that I would live, I think, other than New York, would be Miami. For a couple of reasons, it reminds me of home, and it really does. It's actually a sister city, I think. Let me look that up. To the Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia. So very similar weather, I'm by the beach. Um, I have a couple of really good friends here. There's a church that I love here. And I went and looked at places in New York, and it didn't feel right. I kept praying about it. I was like, oh God, like, where do you want me? And I did not feel peaceful about staying in New York, but I feel good about being in Miami. And it's been a really big change. The last six weeks, it's been six weeks now. It has definitely been the hardest of my life. Like honestly, that's without even a question. But everything is okay and I feel good and I feel peaceful and I'm like actually really excited for this new chapter in Miami. And I showed you guys the first day and by the way, I actually just got a couple other things in the mail today from, I got these shipped from New York. There's one I already unpacked, the other one is still on its way I think. Lots going on, I have a new assistant starting tomorrow. So that's gonna be really cool to um, kind of get back to work. I've definitely been taking the last probably like, I mean, month pretty slow. It's been a lot of healing and you know, I've seen some comments on my Instagram, like you and Alex are so happy, like was this a real relationship? But I'm like, you guys see a very small portion of the day. You see some snaps, you don't see the other stuff that goes on. There's been a lot of adjustment and healing and you know, yeah, everything is okay. But I wanna do a full tour and I'm wondering, do I do a tour, tour now? Because I've, I've got the bedroom like fully furnished, but I have nothing in my living room right now other than a treadmill over here. 
I got a beautiful mirror. Um, but I'm just kind of waiting to find like the couch. I don't know. I, I, it's kind of a hard space to decorate. But I will do a full apartment tour very, very soon. Also, I'm going to be getting back to the Miracle Mindset podcast. So if there's any guests that you guys want to see on this season, any topics specifically you want me to cover, comment below. Let me know. Um, this is my little life update. Your girl has moved to Miami. I'm excited to be back by the beach. It feels really good. And I'm actually really excited to just bring you guys along for this journey. I'm going to get back to posting weekly videos. So let me know what you want to see. Yeah. I love you. I'll talk to you soon.